And speaking of American women, the House Energy and Commerce Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigations is investigating whether Planned Parenthood uses taxpayer money for abortions. Subcommittee gave Planned Parenthood two weeks to turn over documents dating back to 1991. Investigation is in response to a report this summer from the pro-life group Americans United for Life. Joining us now live via satellite, very early in San Francisco, is President <laughs> and CEO of Americans United for Life, Charmaine Yost. Charmaine, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me, Chris. Great to be with you. So the first and most obvious question here is, look, you, you, you obviously vehemently oppose Planned Parenthood's agenda. You oppose abortion in, in a sense, I, th I think, all cases. You, do, you want to see Planned Parenthood go out of existence, which I understand you have a principled commitment to your vision, but why should we trust anything that you say about the organization, given the fact that we know you are bent on their destruction? Well, Chris, the, we want to really focus on the facts here. And the most important thing for people to understand is that since 1998, federal funding for Planned Parenthood has doubled. At the very same time, the number of abortions that they've done has doubled. So there's a really um, interesting connection there that the American people deserve to have an accounting for. But, and if you look, if you look at the Wait a the second, Charlie, wait, wait, wait a second, oh, though. Sorry. Okay, I, no, no, I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I can say Americans United for Life, right, was founded, I think, in 1973, right on the heels of Roe v. Wade? 1971. 1971, okay. You were founded in 1971. Since then, the amount of abortions in the U.S. have gone up tremendously. Um, should we investigate if Americans United for Life is responsible for the growth of abortions in the U.S., right? Well, I don't take any federal funding, though, that goes directly to, look, Planned Parenthood is the world's largest abortion provider. They do over 300,000 abortions every year, and they get $360 million of government funding. That's a million dollars a day, Chris. Aren't you even the slightest bit curious as to what they're doing well, with that money? I, I am curious, actually, as a matter of fact, and I read your report. Um, oh, and, good. And, and, and uh, your report quotes the the chief counsel for the Health and Human Services, uh, Inspector General Lewis Morris, who testified before a House subcommittee that he was, quote, concerned that providers, he's talking about people that are providing Medicare, uh, a Medicaid, that engage in health care fraud may consider civil penalties and criminal fines a cost of doing business. So my understanding is that in quoting Morris's point, you believe that this is, this is the way that Planned Parenthood views whatever fraud that they engage in. Is that right? Well, I'm concerned, and I think every, everybody should be, and I'm very glad that Energy and Commerce is taking this very seriously, because what we document in the report is that there's at least four instances of actual documented Medicaid fraud that affiliates of Planned Parenthood have done. Planned Parenthood has never really addressed this. I think we can all agree that four instances in different states across the country is a pattern of it, fraud and abuse. Four. So as, a, as an American taxpayer, I'd like to know um, how widespread is this waste, fraud, and abuse? I would, I would like to know that too, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer that in a second. But I want to. I'm glad I, we agree. I want to, I want to ask you this. I mean, the, the, to get back to this testimony, the, we, we actually contacted the, the HHS OIG about the, the, how you use his quote to sort of suggest that Planned Parenthood might be engaged in this fraud, um, and he says this: My testimony before the House Ways and Means Subcommittee on Oversight centered on a broad description of the Office, Office of Inspector General's approach to combat Medicare and Medicaid fraud. I did not reference Planned Parenthood, nor was it the subject of my testimony to imply that my comments were directed towards Planned Parenthood is misleading. Um, when you say there are four cases of, of overpayments on, on Medicaid, there are over eight hundred. They're overbilling. There are there are over eight hundred Planned Parenthood centers around the country, and these cases go back over the last decade and a half, right? What is the margin of error that you would find acceptable? How does this compare to other large providers of Medicaid services? Well, are you saying that that's an acceptable margin of error when the American taxpayer is involved? I mean, I, we transparency and accountability is supposed to be a bipartisan is an issue, Chris. And, you know, if Planned Parenthood has but, been doing business in, in an, uh, an above-board way, then they shouldn't have would, any concern about would the Would you like to see this transparency This transparency apply? Okay, actually, I'm going to not ask this question. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep you on, if that's all right, Charmaine. Okay, great. All Happy right, we're going to go back. to a break, and we'll come back. We're going to keep talking about this. Join us next. Breathe, Robin.